Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> right. In case you don't know where he is, he's right, Darren. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I right didn't there. realize. I know I know he was young and small, but fucking no, he wasn't that small. Well, I think you can't you can somebody's walking with him though, like yeah. somebody's guiding him. Anyway, so this as you can tell, this is Darren's first blind audition on The Voice Kids. I do want to say, season two. if you like this show, you should tune Damn. in this Sunday for Future Friday Plus because Jason D is coming on and he's obviously won it. And uh, and it's all very interesting if you like the premise of the show and also knowing what happens behind the, behind the stage. And also mm-hmm. if you're interested in even participating in the show and knowing what to expect, uh, it's very, uh, what would you call it? It's uh, Insightful. It's insightful. a very full of information and I And I think... Yeah, lately a podcast we've been doing. Some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Oh, Jason yeah. is one of them. Like he's literally the nicest guy I think I've met in a while. Like such a wholesome person. What uh, the fuck? Freaking so, all, all the best and all the support always. So do tune in this Sunday, 12 p.m. UK time for Future Friday Plus. Now going back to the voice and we're sort of checking out these auditions. Let's check out Darren's uh, sort of first. first. Darren Spanter. He hasn't changed much. He's just become elongated. Yeah, I, I, that, that's what I saw in the thumbnail. He, he he just he looks the same. Just his body elongated, but his face literally stayed the same. Yeah, go on. weird. Influence when you hear it. Yeah. Bamboo's having his own. He's like. Hey, what a boss man! So it's the same the kid. judges. Yeah. Even though it's kids. It's kids. Yeah. Is it the same judges for teen? Yes, it's the same judges. They just do because they do it by seasons, right? So I read this because this season you guys two. sent. So that's the one Jason D one in the actual voice. In the uh, adult. adults. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, but it the contract I think is same set of judges for the same season oh, regardless hell, lots of, of recording. Yeah. But I suppose, well, you do. You do a lot of pre-recording, like th- three, four months prior anything goes out. And then you do the live shows. So Sure, but what about what, what for, for the judges? This must be a fucking ridiculously long yeah, amount of recording. This, this, is pro- this, is, this is probably and takes, coaching. This oh probably takes God. long as hell. Anyways, but they, I, I suppose they do it in different time spots. Segments, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Time, different moments in the year right right, right. Okay, you know okay. like even though it's the same season i think they must spread it out okay. throughout the year i don't think they do them oh well they can't because they don't air at the same time right? exactly right, fair enough, right. so like for example this aired in christmas in what oh, it's philippine christmas 2014 yeah 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 and the voice was happening in like no it happened from july sep- no like uh, the the same season that Jason won. I yeah, think they started wins recording in in, se- in September. Oh, so they're doing it at the same time. And it finished like in March. My God. Yeah, I don't understand that. That's nuts. If you have any information about that and how the it recording works, skill. please let us know. <laughs> Whoop! I will be more than happy to uh, check it out. By the yeah. way, I just wanted to point out that I paused because Darren actually gave the cue to the band. Oh, that's nice. cool. How sick. You got me losing my mind Right, Such so a lots of lots of energy. Armor. Right, so lots of energy to begin with. Oh. And I think I think especially when you're a, when you're a kid, right? Especially a kid performer, because I think Darren had the bug since he was a kid <laughs> yeah. of performing, of being a showman, of being a star. I well, would imagine. Well, that's a season perform. This is this is somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. I think I, he would be interesting to speak to in the sense of uh, sort of what his upbringing must have been like, mm-hmm. because I think at this age maybe he was twelve, thirteen, similar like to Zach him. and and uh, Juan Carlos. Um, so I think he had already kind of figured out that in order to sometimes even your singing doesn't even have to be that great, but if you sell it enough, then but you're to good. impress, you have to just have energy and, and take people by surprise. So obviously same thing applies here. His sound is taking a, 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 a hit because of the energy, but once he settles, which I'm sure he does, and this is why they haven't fucking turned around yet. But I mean, imagine once he settles you can actually truly tell that he's actually a fucking good singer and not just a performer, but yeah. both. But, you know, the thing the thing that I'm seeing here, though, in this child version of Darren, Darren is somebody who's been on stage a lot. a lot. Yeah. A lot. So he understands because right off the bat, he gave cues. He was given directions. So 
is somebody like the the environment is not foreign to him whatsoever there there wasn't any time of of uh you know unsettled unsettling in like it, it felt very natural to him and even his first impact the first phrase that you're hearing was directed to the audience it yeah, was yeah. never about that's the the impressing impressing the judges that's the best tell to to see if someone's actually a seasoned performer who are they singing to mm, it straight away and went to the audience and the audience uh, responded straight away too yeah. Away, yeah really really quickly <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! See, a performer, somebody who knows what entertainment is about. He didn't know they were gonna turn around though, but he was ready. He was to ready. interact. Yeah, I think he was, yeah, he was ready to, to, to interact. And not maybe not to them, but definitely to the audience. He was looking to reciprocate. Uh, reciprocate. Reciprocate. Yeah. Reciprocate. <laughs> yeah, the energy that he's given, anyways. You know what I meant. See, Bamboo, hustle. Oh, come on! <laughs> yes! Of course, so... Oh, come on! So, I think that... And this is probably some of the... One of the performances where... I think, especially for, like, little ones... Or people that want to perform... I think it's probably one of the best auditions to have a look at, because... It's sort of like breaking the fourth wall mm -hmm. to a certain extent. It's Unders taking the tension away from it. Understand that this is all a fucking show anyways. You know what I mean? And it's like, yes, there is some seriousness to it. And yes, some are going to make it, some are not. But if you've made it to the blind auditions... You've uh, already been pretty far down the line. And say you don't get chosen. You, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Because the platform, this is seen by millions of people. Mm -hmm. So make that stage bloody yours. Forget Absolutely. about expectation and anything. If you have the skills and the skills is at a certain level, that will sell itself enough. And I think why Darren, at this stage, I don't know if he had been on big stages before, but he certainly mm -hmm. had been performing somewhere, maybe school, a lot, maybe birthday parties, maybe weddings, I don't know. But that kid is too comfortable. Uh, you know? Way too comfortable. And even with the interaction with the judges, straight away, they're... Re their reaction didn't take him away from the performance. That is somebody who's settled so, and this is some, in the in the craft of live performing. This is also someone which I think post-show would be someone who will take on opportunities and will take on mm -hmm. the chance to be a star and someone who's a go-getter. He sort of has that, that mentality. Activeness, a proactive... A, 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 a mentality so it's like all good signs if you're a judge i guess or if you're uh, say you're not in a fucking show it's all good signs just to have in life when it comes to this show biz life anyways mm, it's so that, that proactiveness yeah i'm a 12 year old or 13 however old you that's was. crazy man turn around you know you want to <laughs> He is ruthless, though. So I think, I think what's, I think what's happening there with Bamboo. Interesting audition, right? I think what's happening with Bamboo is probably what some people may look at this and and be, well, is he an entertainer first and a mm -hmm. singer second, mm -hmm. right? And then the premise of the show is the voice, right? Not the entertainer. So it's not Philippines Got Talent. Yeah, it's not exactly. It's not a showcase of talent. So very, very um, ruthless in that sense. But interesting because entertainers, however, I mean, there is an argument for the sake of, to some extent, entertainers can sometimes go further than singers in, mm -hmm. in showbiz. Mm -hmm. But also, in the a show where the it's, show. It's, it's about the voice, yeah. you want someone who can go far because of his vocal capabilities, not because of his entertainment value. That's right. Um, however... Seeing Leah, who you know essentially acts through song, that's what she's a master at, and Sarah, who's a pop star, see value in this. There's obviously a lot of value in this. So yeah, well, what I think it's it's really interesting though, because listening to the performance, just listening, taking away the performance aspect of it, you're getting a very on on unsteady vocal lines, power vocals, but very unsteady. So kind of like a bit wild, Amazing. a bit hard to to tame this if if you're 
if you're trying to look for something that you can mold, this is very difficult to mold. Just from the from the sound aspect of things, right? You're not seeing a performer. You're not seeing the performer. You're hearing it. So it, the and as as a child, it's really difficult. As a young person, as a young performer, it's really difficult to find balance between both performing and maintaining quality of vocals the, the, those skills only come with practice you come with putting yourself in these positions right really vulnerable really high pressure and understanding that you have to uh, regroup after these these shows are done right after you've done those type of performances because you're gonna have the footage then that's valuable on its own because you can always revisit the footage rethink it not to flagellate yourself but to like understand what are the choices that you can make better in the next in the I would next say actually if you look at a performer like this and obviously he does have vocal capabilities mm. and I mean interestingly enough seeing his evolution now knowing where Ooh. Darren is he, he so is a rich. really really talented singer um, but, such a gorgeous voice though. Whoa. but perhaps known more because of his um, performing capabilities pe- performing capability but also that hasn't deterred people from well he, he's more like a dancer more like a like a you know entertainer famous mm. no he's actually a fucking bloody good singer and his music showcases that but also when you see him live and he does his dance videos and stuff it's enjoyable so he has been someone that i think actually i wouldn't say he's uh, may, maybe not more than me but i wouldn't say he's an easy to tame i would say that would be the guy that i would be like if he can sing, right, and he's already got this down, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll take him on. Yeah, but you're not seeing that he's got this down. That's why I understand my boost take, mm. but I think that's why Sarah saw so value in this because the fucking the crowd, she's looking at the crowd, right? Of course. So the crowd's going wild. It's like, hold on a second. That, I think that's what made Leah and, and 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 Sarah turn around. They see exactly the immediate response from the crowd. This is a product. Something's happening here that I'm I'm not seeing. And it is a fucking so. Person, and man. and he proved in that little riff. You know, there is some vocal capability here. We can work with this, right? Yeah. So turn around, you get a surprise. Wait, cool. You know? has, has, something bizarre is happening here. I think he yeah. finished earlier, so go on. I, yeah, maybe they gave him... A, a I think signal. production I think production might have signaled to him. Cool. Because oh, Buzz's so reaction... Also, Apple also turned, turned around. around. Oh, okay, I can didn't see, see that. <laughs> see, I think... Thank you, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he gets production. I think Fucking production <laughs> cuts him off. Right, go on, go on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Hi. Good man. So again, probably, probably the smartest thing to do. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's also like let's say no one turned around for him or anything like that. That is, it, the, like Darren for some reason is like he's been doing this before. It's like I've been in auditions before. It, yeah. And also, this is not. Like that's what I find so refreshing about this perform this audition it's as hell. because he is a seasoned performer by this mo- by this point you're seeing a kid that's already been through the ropes you're not training somebody who wants to sing no 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 you're training somebody who knows where he wants to go I want to you know? do this for a like living. this yeah. is this is my chance and I'm paving my own way. But like that that's a type of proactiveness that obviously has made him so successful. Yeah. Um but I it, think the, the the sky's the limit for Darren. Absolutely. And very, this is only the beginning for him. He is one of those uh, you know individuals that I usually do mention on sort mm. of what's the future and what he can do also just for Filipino music in general, you know. A, a bit of pressure on him, but it's, <laughs> it is it, well, I, I think he can handle it. I think a, I think a bit of pressure in this new generation of Filipino artists. It's they're so talented and they've got you know they've got so much already offer, yeah. already there and the world is now connected online and I think you know the the sky's the limit for these kids. Well, not kids anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a very full on adults now. Very interesting um, uh, audition to watch. Um, because no, go, yeah, we'll, we'll watch that. Because um, I think it's just he's done a great job. Yeah, but that's good. He's done a great job of. Yeah, that that's what you get taught to do in an audition. Absolutely, exactly what he's doing now. And also, you don't want to have to some extent your first audition to be the first, perf- the best performance that people can pin you down to. You, that that's not the objective. Because of the first then you audition. don't have room to grow. The first audition is get make past. an impression. No, just get through, dude. No, 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 no. Win. But you know how you do that. 
make an impression. That's what that's that's what they the no, normally your coaches tell you when you're training for auditions because you have to mentally prepare for audition process. Um, and this kid, he it, the the 12 year old version of Darren has been through it. Yeah, he yeah, understands before, that he has to make an impression, that he has to be approachable and likable, somebody that it. it people from the industry will be willing to be working with i'd love you know? to know i mean i'd be very surprised if this was actually like one of his first big auditions i would doubt it but mm. i would love to know yeah. and let you guys tell me if you know what sort of the um yeah go ahead prove it wrong story <laughs> ah, no, no, but, but the story is gone let's, let's just watch this i think they might be speaking in tagalog but yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think see. I think he's asking him about his singing choices, but it, it it's a it's a really interesting overall interaction. I would love to. Yeah, I'd love to yeah. know what Bamboo said to him, especially yeah. Bamboo, because I think everyone probably had praise for him. But Bamboo, even though he was the only one that didn't turn around, it's probably the most, to some extent, some of the most valuable tips or valuable criticism mm. that he could have, because it is. Maybe you need to turn it down for the next one. People know you're a pocket rocket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe next time you gotta showcase a ballad. You know, make me cry. Yeah, I wonder what was the next uh, what was the next stage for him. And I think he goes I think he chooses to go with Sarah as well. But yeah. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure. So let, let us, us know, know more about it. Yeah, let us know more about it and what else would you check out next? Absolutely. That's so cool.